Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for the Student Recognition Night. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the Vice Chair of the School Committee, Ms. Joyce Azak. Good evening, everyone. Um, I want to begin by thanking all of the students and families for joining us tonight for this very special occasion. I'd also like to, uh, to thank our staff and school com committee members for being here. We're joined by Mr. Tim Sullivan, Mrs. Judy uh, Sullivan, Mr. Jared Homer, Mrs. Kathy Ehlers, Mrs. Cynthia Mendez, and Mr. Tony Rodriguez. This is the highlight of, of the school year for us, to be able to celebrate your, inc your incredible accomplishments. I ask you all to now please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, to which it stands under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome, oh, I apologize. I also want to extend the mayor's apologies. He is at City Hall tonight for an important budget hearing. Trust me, he'd rather be here celebrating with our students. So uh, right now I'd like to introduce uh, our superintendent, Michael Thomas. Thank you, Ms. Azak. Thank you, um, students and parents for being here and also staff. Um, I wanna thank the school committee as well and the mayor uh, for always supporting our students, especially in all of our extracurricular activities not only in the world of academics, but uh, the school committee, even during the lean years of the budget, has always uh, supported the extracurricular activities, the arts, athletics, um, anything to do with uh, career, college and career. Um, they've always supported that. So for that school committee, we thank you. Um, I also want to thank these students. What you have done during a pandemic is simply amazing, and you should give yourselves a round of applause. And parents, I want to thank you for trusting the Brockton Public Schools, um, putting your trust in us to keep your, your children safe and educate them, and you, had, you have sent us a wonderful group of kids, so thank you so much. Um, next, I'm going to, for first, for the first um, order of awards, I'm going to bring up, um, this is for the National Latin Exam Award recipients. I want to ask Ms. Rachel Umbriana, Coordinator of Classical and Modern Languages, to join us at the podium and she will announce the winners. Thank you, Rachel. Good evening, everyone. The National Latin Exam is given each spring to approximately 148,000 students worldwide. Students from all 50 states participate, as well as 13 foreign countries. I would like to take the opportunity to thank the students for their participation in the exam and to thank the teachers for all their hard work to prepare the students to succeed on these exams. The Classical and Modern Language Department is very proud of you. Of the more than 100,000 students who take the exam, we have some of the highest scorers here tonight, and it's my honor to ask, them, ask you <laughs> to join me on stage. First, I'd like to recognize our students from South Middle School. We have Courtney Jeffers, cum laude, Noah Kang, Magnum Cum Laude. Gabriela Mendoza Contreras, Silver Maxima Cum Laude. Julian Ortega, Cum Laude. And Shamaria Winter, Magna Cum Laude. And now our recipients from West Middle School, we have Stephen Ambrose, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher Genti, cum laude. Gianna Lindsay, magna cum laude. Chloe Lugo Staley, magna cum laude. Juniel C. Pina Montero, silver maxima cum laude. And Abdiel Snelling, magna cum laude. 
Congratulations to all of our students. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, next up is um, our Region V Science uh, Fair Award. I think is Christian Nichols here. Christian's a senior, so the seniors have been relaxing a lot. So that they ended school and graduated this past Saturday. So I'll just speak quickly about Christian. Um, we want to honor Christian for a second place finish at the fair. He also won the Optical S Society Award for his project. Um, many of you know Christian for his lengthy list of accomplishments here at Brockton High School. Christian is a sal the salutorian of the class of 2022. He will attend Stanford in the fall. Uh, we will miss him. He's been, his contributions to Brockton High School, um, the staff that worked with Christian, thank you. Um, and again, his, the work he did with his fellow students was amazing. So we wish Christian the best in uh, his future endeavors at Stanford. Um, <laughs> next up, I want to welcome one of my favorite people, Mr. Cedric Turner. Come on up, Cedric. And Mr. C Peter Zambor. So can the Empower Ourself students come up and line up to my right by the stairs? So Cedric is going to talk quickly. <laughs> quickly about the Empower Yourself program, um, and then he's going to announce the award winners. So, but I also quickly want to say to Cedric and uh, Mr. Zambord, um, what they've done with this program over the years, um, it's been going on for almost 10 years now, and their commitment to the students in continuing to keep this program going at the middle school and high school level has been um, simply amazing. So thank you so much for all you do for our kids. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is going to be very, very short f for me, and I'm going to have it turned turned over to uh, uh, over here. But you know, I like to have you thank thank Mr. Mr. In fact, uh, with Thomas for for all of your type of sub so um, uh, I also like to say that Mr. In fact, Nichols, in, in fact, is is kind of what you one of ours so he's been with him elm type of power yourself for with three whole years he actually placed first first place in our economic sim so in fact podium and has done a lot of things a lot of his team teammates are in fact what did right up here and what did we have to do is we have these 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 here kids on the, the uh starting in the side to six six in fact in fact grade and we have them basically what you promoted. Uh, for those of you interested in us, we have ourselves a camp. We have, we have ourselves a STEM, STEM camp. And we are going to have that run. We have it run every single year. For those of you who have kids in grade 6 through, through uh, 10, 11th, or 12th, uh, you know, let us in fact know we are only taking in 25 kids because we have people like Lincoln Labs, MIT. We have uh, a lot of these companies and schools. Northeastern School of Engineering will will be teaching the Bridge Bridgewater State School of Aviation. So we have a lot of these top top schools that's about to to uh, in fact happen. Um, but you know, I would like to have my my high school kids, Mara. Lydia, uh, all of them, who, who is not me? So, uh, and then, well, Mr. Zimbor, you know, we have had the high school kids. Why don't you talk about the middle school? Thank you. I'm Peter Zimbor. I'm a sixth grade teacher at the Asheville School in uh, Brockton. And uh, just really quickly, I want to give you a cliff note version of this. But about nine years ago when this started, Mr. Turner brought it to us, and my principal, Dr. Lovell, uh, asked me to get involved. I try to kill this. I didn't think kids could handle global issues. I did not think they could handle financial literacy. I did not think that they could ever wrap their mind around what an annuity is. They do, and they have. Yep. Um, we have about 11 trophies at our school that these kids have won. They came in first and second, competing against uh, all around the country, really. 
and working as a team, relying on each other. It's beautiful to watch. I mean, just to sit back and all that work and to see it unfold in front of you is just magic. Uh, so anyway, I'm extremely proud to be a part of this. I'm very grateful to Cedric Turner for bringing this into Brockton Schools because we, uh, we beat Greenwich, Connecticut. And MSNBC had just done a news story on them about how wonderful they are. And then we beat them first, second, and third one year. Uh, MSNBC News should come here. So thank you, Mr. Turner, and to our amazing students, and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, the first place winner was, uh, 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 they did a PowerPoint presentation on global supply chain issues, an extremely appropriate thing, and they won, and that would be Henry and E. Yep. Mickey L. Belzer, Ryan Burgess, John David Glenuski, and Rodvins Telefort. It wasn't even close. But second place among all these places, what, what are the odds? It would be us again. Uh, it, was, it was climate change, and it was Nielsen Alves, Esther, Calexte, Jayla Evans, Miranda Gutierrez, and Lauren McDevitt. And with all these schools around the country, Texas, Louisiana, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Boston and Springfield, uh, we also won third. <laughs> We're pretty proud. Uh, that would be Dylan Burr, Tavian Cardoso, Adrian Herrera, and Bruce Philemon. And boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have another thing here, the drone competition. So uh, they came in second place overall. They were the only, achieved, only team to achieve autonomous flight. That's incredible. I'm pretty proud that some of these are my former students. We have Mara Barada. <laughs> Lydia Bloodsworth. Aris Cardoso. Liz Berté Celestin. Amaya Cujo, Jemiah Evans, Juwan LaRoe, Ezekiel Lemieux, Brianna Muse, and Marcelana Resende Barboso Pina. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Cedric. Good to see you. Next, I want to bring up the director of music, Michael Smith. He will present the music awards. Um, so I ask the bands and chorus students to please approach the stairs to my right, uh, and then please come up when you hear your name. Thank you, Michael. As director of music, nothing makes me more proud than celebrating the achievements of our students who have spent years perfecting their craft. Our programs are widely considered among the best in the nation because our students work hard and are committed to their goals. You guys can come on up to the stage. And with that, please welcome these students who participated in the 2022 Massachusetts All-State Music Festival Chorus for Chorus. Our first award recipient, Khalil Callender. <laughs> Khalil was also a member of the 2022 American Choral Directors Association Eastern Region Honor Choir, and he won all state acting award from the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild. Congratulations, Khalil. Congratulations, buddy. 
Nick Cannell, who can't be with us this evening, Stephen Diaz Tavares. <laughs> Stephen also won an All Star Acting Award from the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild. Congratulations. <laughs> Other students are Dewana Namir, Noah Thomas. Dewana Namir, come on, Dewana. Congratulations, Dewana. <laughs> Nora Thomas. Congratulations, Nora. And we'd also like to invite up Esther Onyeka, who joined Khalil as a member of the 2022 American Choral Directors Association Eastern Region Honors Chorus. Congratulations. <laughs> this year, we had one member of our jazz band represent the district at the 2022 Massachusetts All-State Music Festival. Please join me in welcoming Nilta De Rosa. She's not here tonight. Congratulations to her, nonetheless. Congratulations to our student musicians. We'll give them a hand as well. Congratulations to them. Thank you, Michael. Next up, I want to welcome our art director, Sarah Richards, who will present our visual and performing awards. Um, so I'll have our art award recipients please come up and line up by, on the stage so you can come up to my right. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening. The Fine Arts Department is pleased to announce that nine students from the high school won 10 honors in the 2022 Scholastic Art Awards. These awards recognize the hard work and dedication of, and talent of the student and the teachers of the Brockton Public Schools Art Department. I'm pleased to announce the following honors. Elise Alves, Honorable Mention in Digital Art. Makai Benson, Honorable Mention in Painting. <laughs> Katerina Lux, Honorable Mention in Painting. <laughs> Quintanya Perrier, Honorable Mention in Digital Art. <laughs> Elise Angeli Pires, Silver Key for Digital Art. Robert Pires, Honorable Mention for Photography. Gamanuel Pedalis, Honorable Mention Photography. And Jim Simi, who received both Honorable Mention and Silver Key for Photography. And this last student crosses two categories, Elise Watt, she won honorable mention for mixed media in the Scholastic Art Awards, and she also was recognized for um, the UMass Dartmouth Emerging Young Artist Juried Exhibition. <laughs> Along with Elise, 12 high school students, student artists have been selected to exhibit artwork in the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth College of Visual and Performing Arts Emerging Young Artist juried exhibition. This is a highly competitive annual high school juried exhibition that recognizes exceptional merit on high school art students and art programs in New England. We are very proud of all of these students and exhibiting their work um, at UMass Dartmouth. We have Mark Bethelemy Jr. and Andrew Bowen, Alex Shara Hora, Jardel Deval, Erica Fernandes, <laughs> Melise Groton, Kiara Moyes, Vanessa Nostral, Maria Rivera O'Donovan, Olivia Spadia, <laughs> Clarence Tessia. Congratulations to all of our visual arts students. Next, I'd like to ask um, any drama club 
members to come join me up on the stage. The Brockton High School Drama Club production of The Big Eleven made it to the semifinals round of the New England Drama Festival. Our Drama Club students work hard to put together a wonderful show, um, and the following students won individual awards. Mr. Smith presented a few of these awards earlier, so we might have some doubles. Um, All-Star Acting Awards, David St. Lude. Olivia Spadia. <laughs> Stephen Diaz. <laughs> Maisel Samba. <laughs> Khalil Callender. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have a student that won as a student director, and she was part of the set design team, Hillary Clark. Jassia Sichter, uh, she won for the logo design for the whole entire New England Drama Festival, and she was also part of the set design team. Um, and the other members of the set design team, Martina Green, James Kirikrock, Emily Ta, Zoe Lopez, Kaylee Littleton. And our very own Hello Dolly, Anna Anais. Anna won um, honorable mention in the New England Drama Festival monologue contest. We congratulate her for that, too. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Before we go on to the next awards, I want to welcome the mayor who was able to make it with us. He came from a meeting at City Hall, so Mayor Robert Sullivan. So I, I do apologize for being tardy. Tonight starts the, uh, the city budget hearing, so I, I was before the city council at 630, and uh, I might have broke a few speed records to get here, so don't tell the police officers, all right? But this is a special place, right? City of Brockton's Brockton Public School, Brockton High is a special place, and the students getting these awards are special, and they're examples of, of, of Brock's are pride and, and Brock's are strong and, and what it means to be a champion in the city of champion. And um, Mike and myself are graduates of Brockton High School, and um, tonight exemplifies uh, you know, the, the offerings in the Brockton public schools, right? If a kid, a boy and girl, takes advantage of what can be offered, um, you know, extracurricular, um, wonderful things can happen, you know, on the stage, on the field. It's just, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, um, when they harness their, their God-given talents, um, you know, it's, it's just a wonderful thing. So um, I proudly signed over 200 of these citations, and I did so. They said, oh, you can stamp a mayor. I said, no, absolutely not. Um, the boys and girls deserve um, what they get. Uh, they are products of a wonderful institution. I want to thank the teachers. I want to thank all the parents and guardians and loved ones that are mentoring them. But ultimately, they're the next generation. So every boy and girl that's getting something today, I just want to say congratulations. I want to say thank you for uh, always exemplifying what uh, Brockton is and continue to reach for the stars because you'll achieve it. Be well. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Next, I'd like to bring up um, Master Sergeant Dana Clark. He will be recognizing our JROTC students, so thank you for their leadership. Superintendent, I'd like to welcome, oh, excuse me. All right, JRTC is a character leadership development program. As the key leaders, these students will be given the tremendous responsibility of leading 
and managing the program, administering operations, logistic actions, and necessary to support the school committee and community events. I'd like to introduce the battalion commander, Samantha Blanchard. The executive officer, Julia Gobelot. Yeah, I butchered your name. <laughs> okay. Lena Kento, the command sergeant major. And we have one of our company commanders here. Congratulations to our JRTC students. Can you stay up for one second, Master Sergeant? Stay with me for one second here. So I want to recognize uh, Master Sergeant Clark, um, who took over the lead for the JOTC program um, midway through the year. Um, and his commitment to those students and to the program has been simply amazing. I want to thank you for your dedicated service um, and what you have done for the program and the kids of the JOTC. So thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, I want to welcome our athletic director, Kevin Cairo, to recognize our student athletes. Good evening, everyone. After two years of disrupted athletics because of COVID, this year was a welcome return to competitive play for the outstanding young people we are honoring tonight. Boxer Nation has a history of excellence, and these student athletes have continued that proud tradition. So I'll begin with the fall season. Our first team all scholastics are Jason Winodi. Jason was first team for both football and indoor track. He was also named to the Boston Herald all scholastic list. Gennaro Reynosa, boys soccer. Owen Talbot, golf. Nick O'Connell, boys cross country. Nobody, nobody here. No. Our second team all scholastics for the fall are Cameron Montero. Cam was second team all scholastic for football and first team all scholastic for basketball. He joins Jason on the Boston Herald all scholastic list. Hey, here comes Nick. Gracian Marrera, boys soccer. Jara Rodriguez, girls soccer. Our honorable mentions for the fall season are Mauricio Powell, football. Isildir Fernandez, boys soccer. Zachariah Foster, boys soccer. Jimmy Dragonetti, golf. Aaron Corlett, boys cross country and Catherine Moyes, girls cross country. Is Kat, you here? Right, come on up. Now I'd like to recognize our winter all scholastic athletes. Christensen Paul was named first team for boys indoor track. Our second team all scholastics, uh, Dejon Burton, boys basketball. Ella McCarthy, gymnastics. Anthony Canudo, boys track. Mamadou Tachamo, boys track. And Nico Lutz received an honorable mention for boys basketball. Congratulations to our talented athletes, and go boxers.
All right, so parents, students, thank you so much for coming and congratulations. I'm gonna bring up, to close us out, Vice Chair Joyce Asak, to wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have one more round of applause for our, um, for our incredible students? We are so proud of all of you and look forward to your many future accomplishments. That concludes our presentation. We will now return to the Little Theater to reconvene for our regular school committee meeting. Have a good evening, everyone.